Are you looking for the best LED grow lights? In this video we will look at some of the 5 best LED grow lights on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Horticulture Lighting Group HLG 650R. HLG 650R This light is the latest powerhouse grow light in Horticulture Lighting Group's catalog. The most important upgrades compared to the previous flagship models of HLG are. White light has much better efficiency in total light output than any blurple light. Blurple LED grow lights are predominantly blue and red spectrum lights. 90% of budget LED grow lights are blurple lights. White light covers the full spectrum of wavelengths, including yellow and green, 1. The range of wavelengths that are important for plant photosynthesis has a name. PAR consists of all wavelengths that fall within the range of 400 to 700 nanometers. Your plants will yield most when they're exposed to all wavelengths that fall within PAR. This includes green and yellow wavelengths. The full contribution of these wavelengths in plant photosynthesis needs further research. But research shows that green and yellow wavelengths do have a role. Green light stimulates photosynthesis deep within the leaf and canopy. Studies show green light contributes to carbon gain and crop yield, too. White light more closely resembles the sun than blurple light. The closer your light imitates the sun, the higher quality your yield will be. But recent insights show that plants also benefit from wavelengths that fall outside par. At Number 2. Gavita Pro 1700E. What was best two years ago, is now replaced with a new LED technology. New technology in LEDs usually means stronger light for less electricity. Just because LM301H diodes are newer, it doesn't mean they're better than LM301B diodes. They're not. Although the Gavita Pro 1700E is one of the more expensive LED grow lights. When you look at the power and quality of this light, you'll quickly understand why it has such a high price tag. The Gavita Pro 1700E's output is rated at 1700 mol s This is extremely high for an LED grow light. While it isn't the newest light on the list, it's still one of the strongest grow lights on our list. The deep red and far red spectrum aren't covered by both. The Gavita Pro 1700E solves this with supplemental Osram deep red LED diodes. This light is closer to the sun than LED lights operating with just white light diodes. You probably won't need any extra cooling with the Gavita Pro 1700E. Its built-in cooling mechanism is extremely effective. Gavita doesn't drive its diodes as hard as other lights on the list. Your diode lifespan will be significantly higher compared to other lights. This means less color shifting and not needing a replacement for many years. The Gavita Pro 1700E is currently among the best LED grow lights that you can get. But you have to prepare to pay its premium price tag. At Number 3. Spider Farmer SF. You'll be happy to know that there are cheaper alternatives. Our most recommended budget-friendly alternative is the Spider Farmer SF LED grow light. But much better than other budget LED grow lights. The Spider Farmer SF has the same efficiency as all other lights with Samsung LM301B LED diodes. When we look at the advertised mole J, we can see that the Spider Farmer SF has an advertised efficiency of 2.7 mole J. On paper, the Spider Farmer SF is even more efficient than the Gavita Pro 1700E. Although the white light emitted from the LM301B LED diodes covers a much wider spectrum of PAR than the average blurple light. White light doesn't cover the deep and far red spectra of PAR as much as you would like. Spider Farmer lights are supplemented with deep red LED diodes and infrared chips. The Spider Farmer SF lights cover an almost as wide spectrum of PAR as the Gavita Pro 1700E and the HLG 550V2 or SPEC. At Number 4. Mammoth Lighting Commercial Series. If you're looking to replicate the sun, the Mammoth Lighting Commercial Series will get you very close. This is a full-spectrum light in the most real sense of the word. 90% of LED grow lights are so-called blurple lights. 
they provide light in the blue and red spectra. The Amare Mammoth Lighting Commercial Series provides light in the full PAR spectrum. This includes the green spectrum. It has a very balanced ratio of wavelengths. It even includes the far red spectrum which is needed for the Emerson effect. This light is a real powerhouse and literally replicates the sun. Don't take my word for it. If you check the PPFD readings found on the product page, you'll see this light's PPFD values are off the charts. Not only regarding pure output, but also the coverage area. The main LED chips used in this light are the Samsung LM301V diodes. But it also includes chips that cover the red spectrum, 660 nanometers. The Mammoth Lighting Commercial Series has the best build quality on the list. The cooling is really on point, you won't need any additional cooling with this light. Plus you get a 3-year warranty in case anything goes wrong. 3 years of warranty is right around the average in the LED industry, the average is 2 to 3 years. If you find the HLG in Gavita lights too expensive, but are looking for a bit better quality than the budget lights on the list. The Mammoth Lighting Commercial Series is the light you should get. At Number 5. Vipar Spectra XS Series. The Vipar Spectra XS Series is similar to the Spider Farmer SF Light. It's a Chinese budget light that provides excellent value for its price. Keeping all other variables like what's per square foot the same. The quantity and quality of your yield with these lights will be worse than with the Spider Farmer SF. This comes as no surprise as the light intensity, PPFD, of this light is the lowest on the list, still good though. The build quality of this light is also slightly worse. But it's also quite a bit of a cheaper light than the other lights on the list. This is the cheapest grow light on the list. Go cheaper than this, and you'll probably waste money on a subpar light. The Vipar Spectra XS series is the cheapest you should go with a LED grow light. Even though the old Vipar Spectra LED lights were strongly skewed towards the blue spectrum and therefore most suited for the vegetative stage in your growing cycle. The new XS series comes with Samsung LM301B diodes. It has a much more balanced coverage of the full spectrum of light and PAR specifically. This series is perfectly suitable both for the vegetative and flowering stage. If you're looking for a budget light, you can't go wrong with Vipar Spectra XS series. Also, if you're looking for the cheapest of the cheapest, which will still get you good results.